Hello everyone. Welcome to session 12 of security testing video series. In this session, we are going to continue with the basics of security testing where I am going to explain about HTTP status codes and how this status codes are related to the security testing I'm going to cover in this session. So let's get started. In the previous session, guys, I covered a, a topic known as HTTP methods. As part of explaining that HTTP methods, I have explained that there will be a client, right? The previous session I explained all this stuff, guys. I'm just going to cover at a high level again now. There will be a client and there will be a server, right? So this is application. Application will be there in the client and application server will be there here. And when a client does something, a request will be sent to the server. A request will be sent to the server. Server will process the request and it will send the response back. Server will give you the response. So a request will be sent to the server by the client and server will process this request and provide response. This is what happens, right? Uh, so, so while server process the request and gives a response, right? Along with the response, it will also give something known as status code, okay? Some status code will also be sent along with the response case. Server will process the request and sell, send back some response along with the status code. Let me give an example of uh, how the server will process a, and uh, give the response and status code. Let me give an example so that you will get more clarity. So I'll open some application browser, okay? And I'll inspect before hitting the URL, I'll inspect guys. So this Chrome developer tools have come and by default elements tab is selected. So, and I will select the network tab. So there are some things already coming up. I will clear it out. It's a kind of history guys, just clear it out. So nothing is there now. Now I'll browse the application URL that is tutorialsninja.com slash demo and hit enter. The moment I hit enter, a request will be made by the client to the server guys, okay? The moment I click enter here, a request will be made to the server by the client. So when I send something, what is the request that has been made by this uh, client to the server? You can browse it, browse it here. You see on the second second item, guys, demo slash. This is the request made by the client to the server. So this is the request URL. So here, this is the request, guys. Request is HTTP colon, uh, what is that? Uh, double slash tutorials ninja dot com slash demo. This is the request made by the client to the server. So and what type of uh, HTTP method was used while making the request? Get method, okay? Get HTTP method was used. You can see that request method is get guys, okay? Now, a request is made by the client to the server. Server will process this request and it will respond, okay? Server will process the request and it will give some response, guys. So in the response, where is the response? In this example, where is the response? If you want to see the response given by the server, you have to give, see this response tab, guys. Click on the response tab, you can see the response here. Some HTML code is there. As you can see here, there is some HTML code which is given in the response, right? So along with this response, guys, along with this response, server, along with the response shown, server will also send some status code. Where to find the status code here in this example? So here, this is the response, but where to find the status code? Here in the headers tab itself, you can see the status code, guys. This response code is sent back as a response by the server, guys. 200 OK is a 200 OK is a response status code, okay? Response and status code, response status code, 200 OK. So what does 200 OK mean? 200 OK means success, guys, okay? 200 OK means success, that means the client has requested something to the server. Client has made a request to the server. Server has processed it successfully and responded it back in a successful manner. That's why 200 OK. But there are different things that will happen, guys, when you send a request to the server. So there may be some problems at the client side, server side, a lot of things may happen during this request and responses. For each and everything that happens, there is a separate response code, guys. So here, uh, some, uh, as you can see, there are different categories of the responses, right? So I'll collapse it all so that uh, you can see the high level categories. So hundreds, the response codes in the format of hundreds. One access means 100, 101 like that, okay? Two access means 200, 201 like that, 202, something like that. Three access means in the range of 300s, 
response uh, response status codes in the format of 300s so if 400s 500s so 100 100 uh, like uh, 100s means 100s means information type of status codes when you request something if you are getting the server is giving you the response as a information type information type of response in that case server will send you which type of status codes the status codes which are in the range of hundreds so here there are two examples guys 100 and 101 you don't have to remember this guys okay just for your understanding and information purpose you just understand at a high level okay 100 is for continue 101 is for switching protocol you don't have to remember so the status codes which are in the range of hundreds are related to informational okay when the server responds some informational status codes it will be in hundreds so second thing is success whatever the example i gave right uh, we got the response code as 200 in the 200 range means what type of uh, status codes success type of success type guys when uh, when when this particular request is processed successfully by the server when the request is successfully processed by the server server will give you some status codes in the response send you some status codes in the response in the 200 range so 200 201 202 203 204 based on the type of the request a type of uh, status code will be sent guys most often we see this 200 okay guys okay so i'll explain like in security point of view which uh, status codes you have to remember everything i'll explain at the end of the session for now just understand the different categories of the status codes at the end of this session i'll give you the list of uh, status codes that uh, we need to only like uh, we need to remember or something in terms of security fine so fine uh, these are the status codes guys uh, this i have already explained to you right here i have shown an example also saying everything is successful kind of okay means successful fine similarly we have redirection guys so a uh, client has made a request to the server and uh, server don't have that request and uh, it has some request some other way so what server does is it will re redirect it to the even though you made a request to a particular resource but uh, this resource is re redirecting to the uh, correct place so server is managing that so in that cases uh, you'll get this redirection kind of thing redirection kind of status codes you will get in the response so different place okay temporarily redirecting or something whatever it is you'll get the redirection if the resource is not at the requested place uh, it will redirect to the other place then we have the client side uh, status codes client side status codes so <clears throat> so there is something like uh, from the client you made some mistakes okay while you are sending a request when you are sending a request from the client this request is not correct guys okay somehow there is some mistake in this request when you are sending from the client side server is not able to process because there is a problem in the request that you are sending from the client side so such kind of client side client side mistakes or errors will be notified by the server after processing in the format of 400s okay 400 bad request made okay yeah whatever the request you send is not correct bad unauthorized you are not authorized to perform this request such kind of things okay so different uh, varieties of requests are there guys uh, in 400 and you see a big list is there fine this is client side so server side server side means you are sending a proper request to the server from the client you are sending a proper request to the server but server side there is some problem guys okay even though the request sent by from the client is correct only and proper only but server is not able to process because of some mis error or something is going wrong in the server side at the server side in that case server in that case the response will come in which kind of uh, range 500 range okay 500s range we have something like internal server error you often see some pages displaying internal server error right so such kind of uh, response codes we'll get from the server when something is going wrong at the server side if something is going uh, wrong with the request sent from the client side client side uh, errors will come status codes will come if uh, something is go going even though you everything is correct your side and uh, some server is not able to respond it properly then because of some mistakes at the or errors at the server side then this kind of errors will get server may be down or whatever may be okay so different type of status codes like this will be getting from the server in the response so hope you understood guys uh, different categories of uh, status codes right let me explain all now so that you can see all the status codes in a single okay the single image so let me uh, just reduce the size so that you can it can fit to our screen fine so looks good so fine guys this is what uh, is the status codes okay so http status codes that can be sent in the response by the server 
can be categorized into five types that is informational type success type reduction type client side and server side informations are in the range of 100 100 uh, range 100 success are in status codes are in 200s reductions are in 300s client sides are in status codes are in 400s and server sides are in 500s like this case so now coming to the coming to the status codes that you need to remember okay in terms of security guys while you are performing security testing you will not come across all these varieties of status codes rather you will come only across the ones that have marked in green color here you see these are all the status codes guys uh, that you just have to remember okay because you will come across uh, this kind of status codes while working with the security testing while you are intentionally performing some security testing we'll get some kind of status codes guys if you understand that status codes you can do the security testing better that's what is the intention so so mostly you'll get 200 okay let's say you have somehow like a performing security testing and uh, let's say you just uh, did some okay uh, try to hack the application uh, i mean try to uh, like uh, find the vulnerability okay of the application and then try to in uh, inject some kind of thing into the input while you are sending the request and somehow server is able to process and then give the response okay so server should be able to reject that right you are trying to inject some malicious something into the application and then you are getting the response back as 200 okay so such kind of uh, mindset guys i am talking about so while you are performing that kind of security testing you will come across either 200 okay 200 okay means whatever the request you made whether it is good request or bad request if you are getting 200 okay something like that success then thing is uh, moved permanently this also we'll see often while performing security testing guys uh, okay so there, there are a lot of things that we'll do as part of security testing and while uh, inspecting this kind of things you'll get come across this kind of status course i will we'll go through all these things in the upcoming session guys okay this is not the time for you to show you a practical example of different status codes and how they will appear while performing security testing we'll look into that uh, in the upcoming sessions in a detailed manner for now just remember guys from success we have to remember 200 okay okay this one you have to remember from redirection kind of category we have to remember 301 which is moved permanently and 302 is which is found okay uh moved permanently and found 301 and 302 we have to remember so next one is like uh 400 in the, uh, that is client side kind of thing bad request unauthorized 400 is bad request 401 is unauthorized 403 is forbidden 404 is not found 405 is method not allowed so these things also we have to remember and last one is server side we generally often see this 500 internal server error while performing the Secure test. So these are all the things, guys. How many are there? Total, we have to remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total nine are there. This nine out of all the status codes, if you remember, then you are good to go with the secure testing, guys. Fine. So that's all about uh, this session, guys. Uh, hope you understood whatever I explained. So we are going to continue with the secure testing in the upcoming sessions. Okay. See you in the next video session, guys. That's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.